Welcome to Template Stack 3 Minutes Features videos. This particular video aims to familiarize you with the details about the separation of concerns features, which is included in all of our templates. If you are watching this video, I assume that you are already acquainted with the process of downloading certain templates. This is how your project looks like. My idea is not to tell you how important it is to have good separation of concerns because you are probably well aware of it, but to show you how it is implemented here. Firstly, it might look a little bit scary, but after a while you will start to like it, I guarantee it. Essentially, what you download is a regular Visual Studio solution, but with a lot of modifications. It contains more than 10 projects, grouped logically by their purpose. Let's start with the folder containing the web-related projects. Within this folder is the regular ASP.NET boilerplate template, but stripped of all the coupling that comes by default, like database context and database models. The other project that can be found here is called Web Infrastructure. It is a regular class library that, like most of the projects in the solution, and acts like an extension to the web project. Its purpose is to contain the source code which is related to the web application but might be reusable. And this is why it is separated by the web application. Let's check out the data folder. It contains three projects that are all regular class libraries. The first one contains the database context that is removed from the web project. The second is intended to hold the source code of some kind of abstraction level over the database, like unit of work or repository patterns or both. The last project in this section contains only the models of the database. The next group of project is called services. Again, it contains only class libraries. Don't get misled by their name. These are not web API services or any other ISP.NET services. In a lot of projects, they are called providers or data access layer, and probably with many more names. But their idea is to contain the business logic of our application. The first one of the projects contain the logic related to the data access. The second one have services that are not directly related to the database, like caching services, email services, and etc. The folder tests is separated in three parts. Four different kind of unit and integration tests. The first one tests the services, the second tests the controllers, and the last one tests the route of our application. The last group is the tools section, which includes all not web mini applications like crawlers, database mappers, or any other similar kind of project. Combined together, all these groups gives us a very balanced and decoupled solution, which is very easy to maintain and extend. For more information about the rest of our features, check out the other 3 minutes feature videos.